Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And this video series, we're going to be exploring each of the planets in our solar system. We're going to be discovering what it would be like to discover our gravity, our weights, on each one of the planet's surfaces. So, to do that, I encourage you to grab your pen or pencil, your lab journal, and come along with me. And we're going to discover facts about each planet and do a little math along the way. So, let's go exploring. Now, before we get started on our solar system journey, let's go over a few things dealing with math and the calculations that we're going to be doing for gravity. Now, first, what is weight? Now, on Earth, we use things like scales. Here's a kitchen scale. And here is a scale to measure my luggage when I travel via airplane. That weight tells us how heavy something is. Now, the heaviness of weight and the heaviness of us when we stand on the bathroom scale is a force. And a force is a push or a pull on an object. Now, that push or pull that has to do with our weight has to do with us. So I'm going to draw me. Here we go. Stick person me. My little hair. Happy little me. Now, weight has to do with that downward push or pull of gravity on Earth. If we drop something, it will fall. It will fall and continue to fall until it hits the surface of the Earth. Now, when we are calculating our weight on other planets, we're going to discover that our weight changes over time because of that push or pull changes depending on the size of the planet. And I'm jumping a little too far ahead of myself. So notice, here I am. I'm me. I have a collection of matter about me. All the things that make up me. And all of that collection of matter equals out to be a quantitative amount, a measurement of something we call mass. All things that are made of matter have a mass. Now, my mass stays the same. I will still have my two arms, two legs, a head, and a body. And that will not change as we're exploring each one of the planets. But the one thing that does change is my weight. Now, for instance, let's say I'm traveling on a tiny little planet, just like that. My mass stays the same. But let's say I move from that planet to an even bigger planet. Notice, my mass stays the same. I have not changed at all. But what does change is the push or the pull of gravity. Because the smaller the planet, the smaller the pull, the larger the planet, the bigger the pull of gravity, which means the smaller the planet, the less I'll weigh. The larger the planet, the more I'll weigh. And that's all because of that push or pull of gravity on my mass. Now, to do math, which I think math is fun, there is a formula. Weight is equal to your mass times gravity. I'll abbreviate it with G. Weight is equal to mass times gravity. So weight is what's called a product, because we're using multiplication, of mass times gravity. So with each planet that we go to, each planet that we learn a little bit about in our solar system, we're going to discover, based on its size, what and how much we're going to weigh. So I encourage you in your lab journals, go ahead and write out weight equals mass times gravity so that we can now go and we can now explore what our weights would be on each one of the planets in our solar system. Now the first calculation that we're going to do is we're going to need to solve for mass. 
we're going to need to figure out what our starting mass is here on Earth before we go and travel to different planets so we can continue to do our calculations to discover what our weight will be on each planet. Now the surface gravity, NASA has provided for us a table, which we'll have that table showing here on this video, of what the surface gravity numbers are for each one of our planets. So we're not going to surface gravity calculate. That will already be available to us to solve these problems. So first off, we need to solve for mass and we're going to do some basic algebra and in order to get mass all by itself in this formula, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to divide, since this is multiplication, I need to do the opposite. So I need to divide, so I'm going to draw my line, the surface gravity, so the surface gravity I am going to divide, which cancels out on this side, and I'm going to bring it over on this side. What I do on this side, I have to do on this side. So surface gravity. So it's a little backwards, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it out so it looks a little bit cleaner so we can all see. So that means mass equals weight divided by surface gravity of the planet that we visit. So we can know our own weight, so I encourage you to go to the bathroom scale and weigh yourself, but for this exercise here, I'm going to go ahead and say that our weight is 100 will be our unit for weight. So that will be our unit for weight. The uh, standard scientific notation for weight is in Newtons. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and write 100 here. Uh, on Earth, for standard weight calculations, we're used to pounds, our stones, our tons, our ounces. But for this exercise, we're going to stick with just the unit of 100. And surface gravity, since we are currently, we have not left this planet, on Earth, the surface gravity for Earth is 1g. So our surface gravity for sub E would equal 1. And that is a roundup of what would be 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, so rounding that up to 1 for this math calculation. So for our mass on planet Earth, with our 100 being our weight, we would plug this into our formula, solving for mass, and our weight, so we would have mass is equal to 100 over the surface gravity of 1, 100 divided by 1, mass equals 100. So mass measurements are measured in grams or kilograms, so we're going to have a mass of 100. So we will continue to use this mass of 100 throughout our calculations for exploring each one of the planets. I encourage you, calculate now your own mass from your weight on your bathroom scale, or you could round about your weight so that then you can plug it in to this formula here. So once you calculate your mass, we are ready to start our exploration. Now the first planet on our solar system exploration tour happens to be our home planet, so it's going to be our launch base planet, happening to be planet Earth. Now Earth being an absolutely beautiful planet where you can find water in all three of its phases, solid, liquid, and gas throughout the planet's surface. Um, the caps and are the poles, the north and south poles, liquid water comprising of about 70% of the Earth with the land masses that we live on, but it's also the most 
diverse and rich in life planet that we know of because we are living in part of that life on planet Earth. So with planet Earth, we are a unique planet. We are a beautiful planet and it's our little blue marble throughout our solar system. Now with Earth, we have somewhat already done our weight calculation, or it's very easy for us to calculate or know our weight on Earth. We just step on a bathroom scale. But we're going to do the math to determine what our weight would be based on our mass calculation that we did earlier. So, our weight on planet Earth, I've already written out the formula, weight equals mass times surface gravity, and from our table, the surface gravity of Earth is, so we're going to fill in each one of these boxes. I've already put an X here, because X is what we're going to be solving for, and we're solving for weight. So weight equals our mass that we calculated earlier, and the one I'm going to be using for this program is 100, times the surface gravity, which the surface gravity of Earth is 1 in our table, and when we do the math, 100 times 1 is equal to 100. So our weight on planet Earth would be 100. Now I encourage you to do this calculation in your journal where you write down your mass times 1, the surface gravity of Earth, and calculate your weight for the surface of Earth. Now our next stop on our solar system tour happens to be our closest neighbor right here, the moon. So our moon, when you look up in the night sky and you see it changing with the different phases, uh, you see its beauty. It is the only other moon or object in our solar system, our area around us, that human beings from Earth have launched and visited. Launched on the very tip top of the mighty Saturn V rocket at the end of the 1960s and 1969 Apollo 11 and Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first two men to walk on the surface of that closest neighbor celestial object to us and only 12 men have walked on that planet, uh, moon ever since but don't worry here in the near future we will have new next generation astronauts, male and female, walking on the south pole of the moon with America's next great ship, the Space Launch System, inside the Orion capsule, sending them there. So stay tuned for that next great monumental feat that NASA will be doing, sending those astronauts and exploring a new region of the lunar surface. So what would our weight be on the moon. Notice this is not to scale, but the moon is quite different in size from the Earth. Uh, the moon, uh, science and scientists and uh, planetary geologists sort of have a theory that the moon is made of the Earth, where something struck the Earth uh, many, many uh, millions of years ago, billions of years ago, and then with the help of gravity, all that material and trash once it hit the earth, that impact debris was up inside close to the earth and with the help of gravity, it forced it into a sphere and the beautiful sphere, shiny sphere that is close to us. So it is about one sixth the size of earth. Now that one sixth measurement happens to be also the surface gravity that we're gonna be working with. One sixth that of the Earth. The Earth being 1g, one sixth of that. So our calculations, we will be working with the one sixth measurement amount. Now let's calculate our weight on the moon. So weight, we're solving for weight, so I have x here. Our mass that we calculated based on what we would be mass-wise on planet Earth that doesn't change is 100 and from the surface gravity table we have in decimal form the surface gravity of the moon is 0 0.16 
are one-sixth that of Earth. So we have 100 times 0 0.16, and with 100 timesing this, we're gonna move the decimal point two times, boop, boop. And so 100 times 0 0.16 equals 16. So we would weigh 16, I'm going to say pounds, on the moon if our mass on Earth was 100 and our weight on Earth was 100. So, 16, quite a difference, one sixth. And remember, no matter how far you explore, no matter how much you discover, know that you are important and that no matter where you are, at whatever time, science never stops. Thank you.